on this. Ain't that right, Williams? Come on, Ian. Hurry, hurry up, man. Get it fast, Williams. I debate anyone on this subject anytime, anywhere. I debate him. I debate. I said, anyone? I said, well, I'm someone. He is afraid, number one, to take this debate yep. because he knows it's going to affect that scratch. <laughs> it's going to affect that. Uh, I like to see you, Gino, Jim, to get your weak, sorry, wet noodle ass out here and work with us a half a day. Not one day. I'm going to cut it a half a day. And guess what? Pastor Dow ain't going to take no damn jab to get there either. I ain't on, taking no damn jab Come to on, get Pastor. there. I'm not taking a mark of the beast. Say it. That was just a damn prelude. Yes, sir. I'm not taking a damn mark of the beast. You got a compromising weak ass stylish wet on, noodle on damn free on, that would justify every damn Come thing on. you said about like a bunch of damn mindless ass minions shaking and bobbing your damn head. Yes, Pastor Dowell has a point. Gino, Pastor Gino, used the excuse that he needs to travel around the world to preach. And that's why he took it. Look, God doesn't tempt us to do evil. If he wanted you to go travel around the world, Pastor Gino, he would have just teleported you and took you himself like he did Philip. <laughs> and they know we mean business because guess what? We're not only just talking this shit, but I tell you what. Thank you, babe. We're not only just talking this, but I tell you one damn thing. Bring your ass out to one of our work sites and see it myself. Teacher Shane, same age I am. And see if you won't see it, that we'll rip your ass a new asshole. And we ain't even thinking about you. We're just working. Yes, sir. True. We're not thinking about you. We're trying to build up Israel. We're not even trying to compete. Now, Pastor Dow does boast a lot about how much he is built. Okay. Zechariah 4 verse 6 says, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Okay, and the spirit of God does not possess men to be spewing all types of profanity. Okay, that's a demon of profanity. You conjuring up spirits every time you, you use profanity. Okay, those demons have names of swear words and what the scriptures describe is filthy language out of our mouth in Colossians chapter 3. I do believe the words he speak against Pastor Gino is judgment from God because Pastor Gino has exalted himself against the Most High. He uh, challenged the deity of the Most High, saying that the Son of God was not God when he was in the flesh. Uh, has God ever stopped being God? Okay, that's because he chose for our sake to manifest himself in mortal man does not mean he has stopped being God. So when I hear Pastor Dow speak like this against Pastor Gino, this is judgment from God. Okay, Pastor Gino has said that he's done more works than the Son of Man. It's judgment. It's all my words. And I'm going to show you. I, I never claim they have 5,000 titles. I'm just Pastor Dow. Hallelujah. I never claim I'm an apostle. I'm a prophet. I'm a pastor. I'm a teacher. I promise you, he done said he ever wanted them. The fullness of the guy. Yeah. He the yeah. fullness of the guy. Truth. Pastor Gino claims to be an apostle, and he's far from it. He said that he has done more works than God himself. Again, this is judgment. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Now, is God going to come down himself and cuss Gino out for his foolishness? No. God is holy. But he supplies the breath in Pastor Dow's nostrils. To let Gino have it. Okay. Paul even said. There are such. Who may be turned over to Satan. Oh, wisdom. Come on. I got questions. I got questions. I got some wisdom for you. Want to hit you upside here. This damn cinder block. <laughs> damn brick up out of some mud. That throw some mud on your ass. <laughs> hey, Pastor. I got a question for Gino Jennings. Go ahead, Elder. 
I wonder if, because we actually got 60, like 60 men coming. I wonder if 60 men can show up at his house and he housed them for four days, five days. Oh, oh hell no. Hey, I, I will, hey, first church, y'all got y'all on the front. Y'all on the clock. Y'all time to go. Can 60 men come to Pastor Gino Jennings house, house, house and be housed for five days? Food. Your laundry get done. Mm -hmm. You work your ass off to the bones. Mm -hmm. You sweat, blood, tears. Mm -hmm. Get the fellowship with the brethren. Yeah. Get your ass up right at the damn crack of them dawn in the morning. Do it all over again. Mm -hmm. Nothing but straight up hard ass blood, sweat, mm -hmm. and tears labor. Mm -hmm. Pastor, I started light. I started light because if I would have gave you as the example, you just housed almost a thousand folk Ooh. for 10 oh. days. You <laughs> got 600 folk. Come on, Ellen. For Come four on. days. True. All within 60 days. True. Come on, Ellen. That's a fact. That yep. Fact. And I'm going to set up here and I'm going to give a shout out <laughs> to Straightway, Tennessee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We hallelujah. We're not even. Hallelujah. And not only Straightway, Tennessee, but hallelujah. Straightway, Clarksville, yeah. Straightway, Kentucky, mm -hmm. and all the surrounding homesteads and fellowship that they actually come and they put labor in on this land to help us get ready and prepare to receive the Israelites. For y'all's more deans or the feet of the most high y'all. Y'all don't worry about this shit in the first church. Y'all so too busy yeah. being these damn sun worshipers. Yeah. You're trying to justify your damn Sunday ass. Jennings, Sunday, I'm going on next. I'm coming to hit your ass on Sunday. Mm. You like running your damn mouth. I'm gonna show your ass, you pagan ass. Crazy mm. how all of you so-called motivated preachers and teachers and everything. They want to talk about tithes and offering. And he could not prove tithes and offering from the New Testament. But I tell you one thing we can prove is not just tithes and offering. We can prove and he loved telling what the apostles say. He loved telling yeah. what the apostles say. I promise you one thing the apostles and mind you, if you was an apostle, you was taught personally mm. by Yahshua, the Hamashiach himself, Jesus Christ himself. Yes, sir. Paul said, I had a revelation of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I'm glad that I had a revelation of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I still had to go and check my teaching right. with the apostles who came before me mm -hmm. at Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember that, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all remember that? Paul said, I still check it. He did not buck the order mm -hmm. of things. No, Ooh. Wow, that's good. See, first church is banking on y'all Negro ignorance. Yep. The same damn Sambo Kung Buck dancing ass ignorance you had in damn slavery where you ass can't read, write, comprehend. They depending on that shit today. They plan on you. Come on. They subjugating your ass. Yeah. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. All y'all want. Hallelujah. All y'all want. Anybody want to be baptized? Anybody want to be baptized? Come on, get baptized. Shit. That damn driven, hasty-ass spirit. And this is one of the reasons why Pastor Gino will never debate Pastor Dow. Okay, men like this, whether you agree with them or not, they have a big enough voice, and he has proven that he can draw followers. Okay, that's what's on Gene, Pastor Gene O. Jennings' mind. The fact that this man has built homesteads, he's very, very bold in his speech, he, and he can draw followers. Okay, it will affect Pastor Gene O.'s bottom line. Just because someone can quote scriptures does not mean that they're following the Most High. Okay, which I'll get into and other videos about Pastor Gino Jennings. But most importantly, guys like that are hit and miss with the scriptures. Okay? But 
in regards to what they'll be debating about, Pastor Dowell is, is hit with the scriptures. Okay, he's able to quote the scriptures at least and turn it into a legitimate argument, whether or not he's right or wrong. Gino wants to also win the debate. You see what I'm saying? And in this message, Pastor Dow really hit Pastor Gino Jennings' pockets. You understand? The uh, apostle is all about them Benjamins. You see? He does no miracles. He does no signs and wonders. He just runs his mouth and boasts of how many he's baptized. Then he has the nerve to take your money. <laughs> you see, he's a liar and he's all about the money ground. All about the money ground. The number of people you've housed or baptized cannot get you into the kingdom. Pastor Dow, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 3, commands you not to lord over the sheep. Now, I've mentioned in previous videos that this is something that Pastor Gino also does, okay? Whether or not they obey the commandments to not be tied to the deeds of your homesteads, Pastor Dow, because no matter how you shape it, those are riches stored up, okay? It doesn't matter if you have paper money or if you have power over land. Christ said those who sell their land and houses for his sake shall have eternal life. But you're right that Pastor Gino has made himself rich off the church's money. And he bases his decision to debate someone on how much influence they have to persuade his followers and negatively impact that almighty dollar. And I don't mean the type of influence that Mr. Vegas had. Because even a heathen could discern that Mr. Vegas is of the devil, no matter how many records he sell, and then try to quote scriptures. Although there are a plethora of scriptures Pastor Gino could use to easily crush Pastor Dow's doctrine of polygyny, okay? But he refuses to debate Pastor Dow because his purpose is to embarrass his opponents, and he can never do that to Pastor Dow. Pastor Dow is ex-military. Pastor Dow knows how to work a crowd just as much as Pastor Gino does. Okay? It's, this is just the truth and unrighteousness on Pastor Gino's part.